Okay, so now what I've done, I've put uh, bobbin thread white. So your bobbin will always be white thread because the suede cloth is always white. Your top thread uh, will be obviously coordinated to whatever the color of the print is. Uh, for top stitching, I only use Gudeman thread, Gudeman thread, however you want to say it, um, just because one, my machine don't like cheap stuff. And two, I think it actually stitches better in top stitching. So, yeah. Yep. So when that's on special, I go a bit nuts for that. So basically, um, what I'm going to do is do the casing. Now, again, this will be different on your machine depending on, you know, what foot you have on and things like that. But what I do is the casing on all sizes the tummy elastic always is four snaps long so for example so this is your two middle snaps here so you've got one two three four five so that's the middle snap and then that's the other one so the casing will always start uh second from the middle so you've got one two three four so it's going to start there and end there and that's how i know where to start obviously you can feel where that casing that you cut you can feel it where it ends um, so it ends right there. So, and it's just because I prefer to line it up with the snaps. Now, I move my needle as far left as it will go. Uh, so still the same stitch length. It's still 2.4 because that's just the default straight stitch. I'm lining it up to 3.38 uh, of a, I don't know if that's inch. I'm going to say it's inch. Three half an inch. So this is my marker that I go off. Um, so that gives me a nice, good size casing uh, to be able to thread my elastic through. So that mark. So I guess that's in line with the outer part of my foot. Okay. So basically, drop the needle. Um, oh, I've just changed my tension there. So let me fix that. Yep. There we go. Right. All right, so that's the second snap from the middle, so one, two, and I always back stitch just to lock it. Okay, and there's your casing. Okay, so then basically, and don't worry about this, we'll fix this up. Obviously, we can fix that, that's easy. So, basically, what we do. And I've included this in the pack that I've sent you. So on the end of the elastic that I included, you'll see a little pin. I use a big mega one. I've, I only have a small one. So if you need a bigger one, just grab a safety pin. <laughs> so basically, I just pin that. You can use a bobkin. I have a bobkin, but I find the bobkin can be a bit thick to stick through the casing. So um, this works just as fine. Now the trick with the casing is that you want to thread it so let's just see if I can push this through so you can see so can you see where your two pieces are joined there so that's where you that's the pull and that's the suede cloth you want to thread it so that it's actually behind that ridge that's formed there so your casings in there and along the casing is this little little flat bit you want to thread it so that it's behind can you see that in there and you thread it through there okay so basically you'll be able to feel quite vividly the needle or whatever you're using to thread through there's basically nothing between this bit and your needle or your pin okay and that's just solely because it makes it constantine really nice on the front it's very pretty basically you thread it through so that um, your bobkin or your safety clip whatever you're using is well past where you're going to sew because you're going to sew here because obviously you don't want to be hitting that with your with your needle so I line it up obviously I I move my needle back into the default middle position and then basically I'm just lining it all up and basically you're just going to go back and forth just to lock that elastic in just 
this twice, that's that's good enough. Okay. And so that's all locked in there, and obviously we'll cut the threads off later. Okay, so again, there is no scientifically method mathy way. I just pull it and I know what I like. So again, I pull it and then so I pull it and then I pinch it at the end of the casing and then I pull it so I want to make sure that it goes flat so that it's you know and it's not pulling too much so that you can still stretch it out um, and so this is what I mean see how that's really nice and pretty folded that's because you threaded it on the back see how it doesn't look as pretty on the back but that doesn't mind that's fine but if you threaded it through the other side in the casing that's what it would look like at the front it doesn't have that beautiful little constantine fold so i know i know that's probably confusing or picky but it actually does make the nappy look a lot nicer when it's constantine like that um so yeah again i just pull it and then like i stretch it and it's flat so i know that's nice not too tight not too not too loose so basically the tricky thing now and you'll learn to hold your fingers is you need to hold the elastic so i'm doing that here and here and i'm also stretching it because remember how before we were stretching it when we were doing the leg elastic we're doing the exact same thing here we have to stretch it so i've got my fingers basically doing this okay so basically i'm just going to lock it down so i'm just sewing to where i've done the casing and then i'm going back and then I'm going forward and that's it All right. and then let's see how it's locked that in nicely um, don't worry about this we will trim all that make that all neat that's fine that's easy done and then basically I just grab my scissors snip off the elastic uh, never forget your pin just make sure that you go back in and you fish your pin out because i have done that before and it's not good so just grab your pin you can either um all right like so that's quite long if it's quite short i just unhook it but because that was quite a long piece i just do that and now we're going to do some top stitching 